Tom Pellicero, Ian Rapport, Mike Garofolo, back on the Insiders, joined right now by the esteemed Brian Baldinger. Baldy, we talked about Justin Ooh. Fields off the top of the show. I I'm very curious. You played in the league. You have a ton of contacts. You talked to a ton of people. You see Justin Fields. Talk about what he did yesterday. Even with all the broader context he wanted to be out there, he mentions coaching as a factor and why maybe he's not playing like Justin Fields right now. What did you make of the comments? Well, I just thought, you know, yesterday is Wednesday, so the players are in the locker room and, you know, he speaks. Like that conversation should have been with Luke Getze or Matt Eberflus on Tuesday on their day off. Going, look, coach, I'm frustrated. I'm not seeing the field right. I feel like I got too many people in my ear. Whatever the situation is. Um, that, that needs to be done in the coach's office probably on Tuesday. That's, I mean, every quarterback goes through levels of frustration. I mean, you can name, pick a guy. They've all gone through it. But it just doesn't need to come out on a press conference where everybody just runs with it. I heard all the explanations. You guys are right. Like, it, it's, it's a little out of context. He's got to have a press conference to answer the press conference. But the facts are is that, you know, he's missing things right now. And the opening drive, six plays, 75 yards, touchdown. Perfect. But on this 70 play right here, I mean, Todd Bowles is playing with Justin Fields. He's not rushing, guys. You watch Devin White, all he's doing is spying right here. Like, they're just waiting for him to run. You can't, like, this is the perfect pocket right here. It can't get any bigger, wider, or, or cleaner than this is right here. So you'll go, okay, what was he looking at? And so then I cut to the side angle here, and I show you, of what he is looking at. But this is it. They're this much rushing angle. here. They don't want him to throw. They want him to actually do what he did. But here you go. You're going to get, uh, you know, Trent Taylor coming over here. Got four wide receivers over here. Nobody is covering anybody. It's, over here. it's first and 10. All right. You get the rookie, Rashawn Johnson. You get Tyler Scott. They're all wide open. In fact, right here, Rashawn Johnson, number 23, he's got his hand in the air. Like, just throw it to me here, coach. I'm wide open. Like, I don't know what made him freeze right there. There's Rashawn Johnson. I saw guys waving at Justin Sunday. I saw DJ Moore clapping like, let's go. Let's go get it. I'm right here. It's zone defense. Just get it to me. And they got it to DJ a bunch. He had a good game, but they missed him a bunch too. And so it's just that, that uh, frustration that comes with, okay, you can do it on the opening drive. You can do it in the fourth quarter and go 90 yards on eight plays and do it. Why can't you do it? intermediately right there where there were plenty of plays to be made. Baldy, I want your read on what I said uh, when we were talking about this in the last block. Uh, I go back to that Patriots game. I'm maybe putting you in the spot. You don't necessarily haven't gone back and watched that recently. But if you recall, there was some design stuff. Oh, yeah, there were some rolls to the right. There were some boots even to the left side. And then he made some throws from the pocket because you're doing all that stuff. You're keeping the defense on their heels, and all of a sudden things open up. So let's pretend you and I, it's an it's a, uh, uh, offensive coordinator, quarterbacks coach meeting on a Tuesday. We're game planning, and I say, let's get back to that kind of stuff. Do you agree with that, and what does that look like on the field this week? Well, I mean, the Patriots had no answer for him in that game. I think it was the best game that Justin Fields ever played against the Patriots, and Bill Belichick basically said it. But, you know, the touchdown throw right here, like, he can make these throws. D.J. Moore is a really good player. He runs crisp routes. He's excellent after the catch. They get the ball to him. On the opening play of the game, they run a play-action pass, half-field read, get the ball to D.J. Like, he can execute that stuff. He put it right, right on the number two of D.J. Moore. But this, I do think that getting back to some quarterback design runs that we see from Lamar or Jalen Hurts and other guys in this league, like, I do think that's something that he likes to do that he's really good at. I was on a, a, a call this morning in Miami. They still talk about his 180 yards rushing against the Dolphins last year. Greatest day ever for a quarterback running the ball. Like, I do think that sort of sparks him, and that gets him flowing and more into the flow. And so I do think against Kansas City this week, I expect to see that within the game plan. Yeah, you know, it, it was interesting, Baldy, listening to you about how they are forcing Justin Fields to read. And you do see this sometimes, I think especially with young quarterbacks. This is, I think, one of Bill Belichick's favorite things is basically, like, and everyone's like, he's got the pocket. It's per Well, the reason he has the pocket is because the defensive linemen are basically standing there and watching him and forcing him to read down the field, which, you know, obviously on TV we're like, just throw it. But, like, the point is to confuse them, Tom. So, like, I, 
you know, I, I understand what he's doing, but I think for Fields, the hardest thing is when they force you to sit there and read, you have to be able to do it and execute. Steve Spagnuolo is going to have some stuff for him this week. I can guarantee you that in Kansas City as well. Baldy, let's get to somebody else here, too. We can talk Justin Fields all day, and we probably will, probably all week here. 